So we've been progressing pretty nicely with the uh, the alpha character here. Figured I'd do a little bit of an update this morning, just uh, kind of let you guys know where I'm sitting and everything. Doing a little bit of uh, combat sites, but uh, really the past few days I've been just kind of doing project discovery. As you can see, I'm at uh, 240 million with the wallet here, and a lot of that was about 70 million of that was from project discovery over the past few days. I haven't been really doing a whole lot of ratting for the most part, but the vast majority of my income has come from uh, this uh, 191, right? And uh, the trick with that is if you're doing project discovery, which you should be, um, regardless of if you're alpha or omega, as long as you have 2 million skill points, you'll be able to get up to level 50. And um, once you actually get to level 50, project discovery will give you a pacifier BPC, one run of that. And um, what I did with this was once I earned that from getting level 50, I just bought all of the mats for it. I had a little bit from mining, so I just bought missing. But the entire the entire ingredients for this thing is like 14 million, right? So I bought, I think I yeah, bought, bought mine for about 14 million. And then what you'll do after that, and it takes about like an hour and 40 minutes to build this thing. And then when, I, when you can sell it for 191 million, right? And that's what got me up to uh, 240, which is, uh, which is a pretty good amount for not really doing a whole lot of anything, really. Just kind of uh, living my best alpha life and doing product discovery every day. The other thing I did, too, a couple days ago was I was messing around with the new um, career program. So they reset all the uh, the career agents, so I was able to actually go back and do all of the career missions again, and um, got quite quite progressed. As you can see, I got a lot of progress going through here. I actually stopped doing this um, after I got the first fifty thousand skill points because I'm going to hold off if I can, and I'm going to wait until after I hit five million skill points to kind of target this stuff and then redeem these other rewards. And the reason I'm doing that is because I can passive train up to five mil, and then this will give me an outlet to earn some more skill points on top of that before I start doing alpha injectors every day. And then you know the, the all the S that I'm making right now is going to be going towards um, Gila or any like other ship I'm going to be doing long term for abyssals and things like that. And then also just kind of working on getting um, injectors every single day. But the usually on the days that I'm working, which is like today and the next few days, I'll log in here in the morning and then I'll just work on my project discovery and then uh, pretty much that would be it for the day. Now, once you hit, if you're only at like 2 million skill points, if you're below 3 million skill points, once you hit level 50, you won't get any more experience right here until you actually hit um, another, until you get past 3 million that's the way product discovery works is they'll gate your levels based on the SP that you have. So once we get to 3 million, we'll be able to go up to 75, up to level 75. And then 4 million, we should be able to go up to, I want to say, somewhere probably 100 or so. I'm not really sure. I usually blast through uh, pretty quick. But as you see here, I'm up to um, the cap, which is 99K per submission. And so I'm just kind of doing that every single day, and that's giving me a, a good amount of wallet. And the only ships I'm really using right now are the Vexer that I talked about earlier. And the fit hasn't really changed a whole lot. I'm still using it pretty much as it was in the uh, last episode. The uh, I'm running small um, hybrids right now still, but uh, the idea is to upgrade these to mediums eventually. And then I still have the Adventure. Uh, which I'll do uh, mining and, and whatnot. So I have, you know, BPCs. What I'm, my next goal actually is to build this caracal and that caracal will uh, give me uh, some like 50 CP off the uh, career program. And uh, but I'm just kind of holding off on that, just kind of stockpiling stuff. Because once I do start doing the career program and stuff like that, I'll be salvaging, I'll be, you know, ratting quite a bit to, you know, take care of all those objectives. But like I said, if I can, I'm going to try to wait 
Some of them are going to get done regardless of trying to wait just because of doing ratting. Uh, this coming week, I'm going to try to do a, um, put, throw together like a, uh, a hair on or something and do some null sec, um, probably some null sec relic sites. I've got to get um, my hacking uh, maxed out for what the alpha can do. Um, so I will also kind of show you what skills I've been working on too. Nothing too crazy. I've been just kind of like rounding out what I've already worked on. The big ones I'm trying to get done are uh, Power Grid Management 5 and CP Management 5. That'll just allow me to do a little bit more with my fits moving forward. And then I've got Galante Cruiser 4 in here just to help with the Vexer and eventually the uh, the Gila with that. I'm hoping that some of this 26 days is going to be eaten away by uh, login, uh, SP from login bonus and also SP from the career program and things like that. But we're going to make this short little video, the uh, episode four, kind of letting you everybody know what I'm up to. The uh, We'll probably sit in the Vexer for another week or so until we already had the funds to actually start working on getting into the Gila. But I think before I transition to the Gila, I might actually take the Vexer through some abyssals and uh, see how it does. And also probably going to be looking at some other uh, cruisers that I can uh, take into abyssals and just kind of experimenting with that kind of thing. But anyway, if you're following along with this series, uh, let me know in the comments how you're progressing. And um, I definitely recommend getting to level 50 on Project Discovery. Build that pacifier. Make that 191 million. It'll, uh, it'll allow you to kind of start getting into some little bit more pricey things if that's what you're after. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.